Hey guys, uh, Ben here. Um, I had an interesting phone call from one of my mates who is doing a uh, degree in electrical engineering at the moment as a mature age student. Now he's building a robot and he's decided to use a standard power supply out of a computer. <coughs> They're really good, 18 amp supply, 12 volts, 5 volts, 3 volts. They're really, really good and they're nice and stable. Now the problem that he got is he's wired up the whole project and gone to turn it on and he's not getting anything out of his power supply at all. I asked him did you uh, jump the green wire to the black wire. On these power supplies they have a green wire. Now if you bond this green wire to ground, one of your black lines, uh, the power supply will turn on. Now when you plug this Molex, or this connector, into the motherboard of your computer um, they have a little pull down circuit which will pull this down to your neutral and then the power supply turns on. Now he didn't know about this and he hasn't done it. So just a quick demonstration on what I showed him to do. <coughs> I have here just a um, couple of LEDs wired up to the 12 and 5 volt line just to prove that this power supply is it's actually currently turned on, but we're not getting any illumination or any power out of the power supply. So if I take a little piece of jump wire and jump the green line to our neutral, press it in there for the moment, and now we have power supply, 5 and 12 volt power supply. So I disconnect that, the LEDs go out. If I reconnect that, LEDs come back on. So that's how we can fire up a uh, ATX style power supply. Now what I've, what in his project, he has actually cut all the wires off and individually used the different lines that he needs. Um, so as a quick and effective hack at home, what I would suggest you do is cut one of the black neutral wires Cut the green wire, and what we can do is quickly strip these two lines together. Now, what you can do is twitch them together. At this point, what I would do is I would solder it also, and just for safety, I would, after soldering it, heat shrink it, throw it back in the loom. Also, if you want for safety, you can just trim, trim these two down, cable tie it back into the loom if you're still using the connector, if not, tie it back, cable tie it where it is, and there we go. We have a uh, very quickly and effectively hacked power supply. See how that goes.